business. So because you're a retail business, you need to manage your inventory properly. And for Q4 is no exception. Now I hear some of you be like IPI scores and what about inventory limits and things like that? Yes, 2021 is different than previous years because Amazon has implemented storage limits and quantity limits. So if you're anticipating selling a couple hundred a day um, in something and Amazon's not increasing your limits, you need to manage your inventory properly. That means be ready. You're going to have to work harder in Q4. Take a vacation in January because <laughs> um, Q4 is busy. It is the busiest selling season. So prepare your inventory ahead of time. So if you're if you're thinking that you need to, um, you know, last year you sold 300 units of something, you're going to need to increase that and you're going to need to pay attention to your shipping schedule because as things start to sell, Amazon's going to lift the limits and let you sell more. But you can't send in a thousand units of one item. They're not going to let you. So this year is different in that you have to plan your shipping and your inventory management very carefully. Uh, it's it's can be kind of complicated if you're selling a lot of volume. This is why I don't choose to do volume and I choose more to work on margin than anything else. I like to sell a wide range of SKUs and bundles and I like to sell them like I, I like to make $10 or more on each bundle. I mean, some of them are lower than that. Most of them are higher, but I like to at least average that. So you don't have to sell as many units to make a good profit if you're selling based on margin. So I just want you to pay attention to those things and make sure that you're paying attention to margin and that you're making really good money planning your inventory. You can't sell what you don't have. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're ordering enough inventory to cover the three months, because another thing about inventory in Q4 is generally speaking, it's a one and done order. If you're doing wholesale, you can only order once and you can't decide in mid November that you are out of stock and need to order more, they're not going to have any. Chances are they're going to be sold out of that already. So they're not going to have that for you and you're not going to be able to reorder and you're going to be bummed. So planning your inventory wisely. Some people ask me like, well, what is the rule of thumb here? Like, what should I order? How much should I order? If you don't have a last year of to compare it to, then you're going to want to think about if this is your first Q4 or you're new to Q4, you're going to want to think about your average sales for uh, maybe a month. So if you're just selling on Amazon, maybe the last three or four months and you have a replan, you know, thinking about adding 10 to 20 percent of that. If you've sold last year Q4, take those number numbers. And if you didn't have any leftovers and you sold out earlier, you need to add more inventory because it's better to have slightly too much than not enough inventory because not enough means you're losing money. If you have inventory that you can still sell, even though it's past the season, there are other ways to break even on inventory, but you can't break even on something you don't have. So it's always better to have too much than not enough because too much means you can liquidate, you can sell, you can bundle, you can save it for the next year, you can liquidate it, you can sell it on other platforms, whatever you want to do, but you can't sell what you don't have. So make sure you order enough. And also 